What's up everyone, for the win Itachi here, you know what it is. Welcome to the 11th hour gaming show brought to you by youtube.com slash for the win Itachi plays. Here today, back at it again with Pokemon Quest, two nights in a row. Um, I do apologize last night for those of you that were tuning in. I was not able to um, live stream Magikarp Jump after Pokemon Quest. I don't know why, it was having a problem with my recorder on my mobile device. So it didn't allow me to play that. And I also had another live stream planned after that. It just did not work. However, we were able to do some Pokemon Quest yesterday, which was really important. And then we're now back in it again. I'm basically playing a lot of Pokemon Quest right now is because we're going to be playing Pokemon Let's Go soon. And I'd like to start accomplishing a couple of more things in this game. So I can release some videos and content on this game while I am playing that game. And also so we can go ahead and accomplish a lot of things while playing this game. So, with that being said, Expedition 7 is currently where we're at. Um, I can move on to the other expeditions if I really wanted to, um, because there are some easier levels than the boss in Expedition 7. For example, Expeditions 8, 9, and 10 have levels that are much easier than the boss that I'm currently working on in Expedition 7. But... I want to make sure I complete Expedition 7, because I believe I am very close. Um, the boss is either a Pinsir or a Scyther. So sadly, I hope to get Pinsir, but sadly yesterday, I mean I was close on both. However, I do feel it is going to be easier if I can get um, Pinsir. And we're going to go ahead and accomplish this right now. And we're going to use all of our attempts today on Miasma Moore level 7. Alright, boss time. 12,500 Miasma more. Oh my gosh, it's uh, I'm nowhere near it uh, rating wise, but uh, we're gonna do what we can do and hopefully we can do this. Let's put it that way. Um, it's just a difficult level. Main reason is uh, you face off against a Pinsir or a Scyther at the end. Oh my gosh. When you're already facing off against different mobs. It's crazy. It's on the Cray level, fam. It's on the Cray. I'm, I'm actually... I'm, I'm shaking when I'm playing this, so it's not helping. It's not helping at all. Playing this right now and shaking. Get some knockbacks out. So, what's nice... Um, is I kind of know... What to do when it comes to uh, Pinsir and Scyther. They are both difficult. Um... I find that I find Pinsir to be a little bit easier, even though Flareon. I mean, Flareon's good against both. I I just find the Pinsir to be a lot easier. Oh no, I forgot about that. We got lucky there. I forgot about the execute uh, being able to um, explode like that. I'm letting Cloyster go in first because this is actually great if he can. Um, not the best of flamethrowers, and, uh, I don't really want my boy taking too much damage here, so I'm gonna have him rock that. Get a fire blast out, it's gonna do a lot of damage in a close quarter combat situation like this. Uh, actually, I am failing this right now really bad. I need to, yeah, I gotta do one more, please. I didn't have withdraw up. That explosion, though. <laughs> Actually, no, it wasn't even an explosion. It was just a lot of damage. Holy crap. Um, yeah. Uh, let's... We're gonna have to withdraw. The longer this fight lasts, the better. Because I need to get Jaboy up. Flareon's almost up, so we're good. Alright. Keep running away, because we're about to go to the boss. I need to stall as much time as possible. Pinsir, okay. Pinsir and Parasite. Scyther is the rare of the two to get. Actually, Scyther is really rare to get. Um, I'm really focused right now, guys, so I do apologize if I'm not talking too much, but both of my Pokemon are already dead. And, and one of them just does not want to move. There we go. Get an attack out. Actually, move, 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 move. You're not moving. 
See, it's a bad situation where I currently am. There we go. Actually, no, you're going to make it worse in a couple of seconds here. This is not good. Can we get a burn off, please? Run away. I'm trying to keep Cloyster up, but it's not working. I've actually made this a mess. I've made this a huge mess because Cloyster does not have withdraw anymore. Uh, now he's sleeping. This is not good. Um, how we take care of this? Uh, we do a little quick maneuver. Get a fire blast off. And run. Because he has to come this way through the fire blast. And he won't attack while that's going on. Um, again, close quarters. I'm trying to keep him in that corner. I can't believe this. So easy. It's so damn easy when you know the strats to pull off. I did this in one. I one shot at this, guys. I absolutely just one shot at Expedition Seven. This is crazy. Oh, we completed a new expedition, guys. Again, Scyther is doable for me. Oh, look at these. Four sixty-three and four forty-five. Absolutely amazing. But just a quick heads up. Expedition 7. You can get either Scyther or Pinsir on that last level. Scyther is a little bit more rare to find than Pinsir. But um, again, it is also very easy to uh, to defeat both. They're very, very similar. Just Scyther is a lot quicker than Pinsir. Pinsir does a lot more deathly uh, damage. But you can maneuver out of... Um, Ooh, more areas. You can maneuver out of uh, pincers of damage. This makes seven. So, what do you mean more areas? Oh. I see, I see. Alright, so quest. I can't believe we just completed that. That's a positive already. Close. Don't want to do that yet. Um, Let's see. We got some... We're going to be moving on to Expedition 8. I already know that's going to be really difficult. I believe end boss is middle king and middle queen. So we're going to have some trouble with that. Look at that. Upgrade. Upgrade to the max. Uh, 327 I think is the lowest one. That's going to increase my rating pretty high. 463 with 358, 357 being the lowest one, 327, so 316 being the lowest one, that's going to be an increase as well, and if Florian gets the remaining, uh, 333, actually 271 is the lowest, and then 316 with a 308 being the lowest, let's get a nice, actually, 307. Get rid of the two legendaries. And recycle. <clears throat> I need the cooking regions anyways. And let's see what my score is now. Did we get over the K mark? Yay! We got over the fa the 9K mark. Now at 9,300. That is the definite positive. Uh, quest. Another uh, quest accomplished, I think. Yep. Challenge. Uh, team strength. Over 9K. Got more PM tickets. Just what we need. Imagine when we get over the 10k mark. Woo! Big boy teams. <clears throat> so, we're ready to go. I, we, we've completed expeditions 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. We're now moving on to expedition 8. We are also on boss level for this one. So, we're gonna quickly get through this and get back to the boss. And I'll see you guys there. Alright everybody, Expedition 8, Hushed Highlands. Um, bonus type of ground, 8-1 um, is a requirement of 6,500. My team total right now is 9,318. We recently just completed Expedition 7. So without further ado, let's move on to Expedition 8. What's up, Unusual? How's it going, bro? Just defeated a hard boss in Expedition 7, so it was like super cray. I one shot at it too, which I was like super shocked about. I gotta, I gotta remove Rock Boss now. It's like not needed anymore. <laughs> it's actually not that bad, which is. Yeah, it's actually gonna be great here. 
against rock type Pokemon, but I mean, no, it's, it's not even. Yeah, it's actually pretty damn good. I'm surprised. Cloyster, Rock Blast, and Withdraw, Water and Ground type, and then Flareon using Fire Blast and Flamethrower with Alakazam, Psycho Cut, and Dazzling Gleam. Right now, so far, this is going great. I'm still shocked that we were able to accomplish another expedition today. Level 7 completed. Now, I believe Expedition 8... I'm stuck on the same expedition as you are. Ah! Well then. What's your, uh, what's your main team consist of? Like, what do you normally use? As for Expedition 8, I believe it's Nidoking King and Nidoking Queen as the final bosses. Um, that was probably the most difficult I had with all with out of Expeditions uh, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Expedition 8 gave me the most difficult problems and challenges to face off against. So, I'm not 100% sure if we will be able to accomplish that today. But I do have a lot of battery recharges today because I was able to accomplish uh, Expedition Seven. So yeah, we'll give it a we'll give it a chance. Well, we got through this one pretty easily. But again, this is only the first level of Expedition Eight, so gotta do what we gotta do. Twenty-three cooking regions. Wow, we stacking. Hopefully that gem is decent. Three eleven, not bad. I'll check it out later. Think. Oh nope, we got cooking. Let's go back to base camp. Might as well check it out while we're here. Um, I haven't played in a while, so I forgot. But I remember I used like. So, oh okay. You completed a main quest. Would you like to check it out? No. I've already I've already checked it out. <laughs> yeah, Onyx isn't bad. Um, we're going. I don't think through, definitely Cloyster doesn't need this gem. Okay, Flareon can use it. There we go. So it was an upgrade. 308 is the lowest. Recycle that. Out we go. Now let's get some cooking completed and accomplished here. Give me something good. I haven't seen anything that I can use in a while. XL size good. Mulligan Stuella cube though. But give me something good. Slowpoke. I mean, that's not... If it, I mean, if we had Slow King in the game, sure, but they don't. Level 55. And it knows Tackle and Light Screen. It's just so trash. It's so trash, bro. Like, you don't even know game. Give me something good for once. Alright, Auto Set, but don't use the... Thank you. I'm trying to save all of my rainbows to make an all rainbow, whatever it is. Ooh, three. Um, I want to see something here really quick for some training purposes on Cloyster. Hundred percent. All right. Um, give me a moment here, guys. I'm gonna turn on my computer. I gotta check out move sets on uh, Cloyster here because it's really important. And, um, I mean, without Rock Blast, I wouldn't have been able to accomplish that last expedition. I know you guys just heard that. That was basically me typing. But give me a second here. It'll take me two seconds to figure this one out. Google Cloyster Moosets Quest. There we go. Alright, so, what can he learn? Barrier and Withdraw which are very very similar but they actually do the exact same thing um i'd rather withdraw on a cloister so that is best in slot ice beam uh user fires icy cold beam at enemies in front of itself deals damage spots it's it's average damage so it's actually not amazing icy wind is absolute about the same thing. No, it's Icicle Crash. That's what it is. Icicle Crash is 
super trash. The user drops frigid icicles in front of itself, dealing damage in enemies hit by them and sometimes freezes them. So it's great, deals so much damage, but it's not amazing because it's just not good. It's just, uh, it's frustrating with icicle crash because it never hits your enemies because he throws it so freaking far. I wonder... No, it's not that. Spikes. The user scatter spikes in front of self damaging enemies that step on them. That's average. Icy wind is okay. Supersonic. That could be useful. That would be amazing, actually, if I can get supersonic. Because he's not a great damage dealer, so... Out of these moves, I would take I would take an extra defense. I don't know if you can uh, stack them, but I'd take barrier. Ice beam. I've already got withdraw. I'd take anything but icicle crash, so I'm going to actually use this. I need it. <clears throat> I need a change. Just give me anything but icicle crash, and uh, we're best friends. Now, I wonder if you can stack... Cause that, that was the question. All right, so I knew I, I had a feeling I was gonna get this because I haven't seen it yet. This is gonna be interesting. If we can stack, I don't think he dies. So he has two defensive abilities. If he can stack, <laughs> if he can stack. Oh. All right, attack, zero, wait, five. The user withdraws into its hard shell, reducing the amount of damage it takes for a while. Also known as barrier. 0 and 5. The user throws up a wall so around itself, lowering the amount of damage it takes. <laughs> uh, I mean... No. No, I couldn't use that either. That's the only one I need for now, to be honest with you. I don't need number of shots and moves attack. Let's see. What are you rocking, Flareon? I actually like that, so keep that. Attack with. I actually like that, so keep that. That's actually perfect for Flareon. <coughs> the boy here, though. Number of move repetitions, move wait time. Gets increased, but move wait time is also decreased. Number of shots. I'll take this. Oh, I can't. You t oh, damn. I didn't know that. Alright, well, I'll take that. Let's use that for now, then. So, this is going to be interesting. Let's see how uh, Koyster does with this weird new move set that it's got <laughs> don't ask me if this works this is stupid because i don't think i can lose all right hush highlands 8-2 7200 get straight into this with a new move set for cloister i'm actually gonna not play this on auto because i want to actually try to do this so give me a second here so if i use withdraw can i stack barrier no Fuck. So which one's better? Well, I might as well put you on auto then while I figure out which one's better. <laughs> Alright, so you can't stack your defensive capabilities. Withdraw or barrier. Pokemon quest. Yeah, this is going to be difficult. Give me a second here. Got chat open. Oh, it doesn't matter. They both both withdraw and barrier do the same thing.
Yeah, they do the same thing. So with that being said, I need to change it. Oh, there's e okay, so even Harden does the same thing. Alright, well that's good to know. Yes, it is. I believe I've told you before. Alright, so we're able to complete this. So I need another Pokemon so I can replace Barrier. I'm going to keep Withdraw because it's just a water type move. And I just feel Withdraw is cooler for Cloyster because Cloyster actually has a reason to Withdraw. Some Pokemon can learn Withdraw and they really don't have the capabilities to really Withdraw. <laughs> Cloyster actually lives in a shell, so I'm going to keep Withdraw over Barrier. Oh, wow. 33 and oh dude we got some epic stuff here level ups please no nope. all right but we're close 266 292 whack whack stones number of move repetitions that's not bad at all let's keep this going boys <clears throat> i do need a new pokemon now yeah i do need a new pokemon otherwise my cloister's sh killing me right now Expedition 8 level 3, team total of 7,900, but mine is at 93.21 at the moment. Should be able to accomplish this on auto. For those of you tuning in, yes, I understand my cloister has withdraw and barrier. And I know there's, there's, there's no benefit of having both. So bear with me. I will be removing one pretty soon. Once I get another Pokemon, and hopefully it's a water type that allows me to do that. Or a Psychic type. Or a Shelter. So I get the 100% chance of uh, switching out Barrier to something else. Kinda want Ice Beam, if I'm to be honest with you, or Supersonic. Supersonic would actually be really, really lit in this game. I hate Supersonic when I'm playing actual Pokemon, but in this game, having CC capabilities is next level. Because it actually works. What? Are you talking about my stream name? The 11th Hour Gaming Show? Why is that? You can't just change names out of nowhere. You gotta stick to what you, what you are. Otherwise, people won't know. Alright, so we're now facing up against the boss. I really don't remember this level at all. There's a Doug Trio. That's definitely not the boss though. Oh, okay. Sans no, it's not this either. That was a devastating fire blast though. Close quarters and you get some nasty damage off. <coughs> this is an interesting level. Okay, Kangashkan. There we go. Makes sense. So yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the level or the expedition where, uh, hold up. Barrier is universal because of the stone. Oh my gosh, I'm getting rid of the rift draw. I can make barrier universal because of the stone that I've equipped to a cloister. Oh, this is really good. Oh, my team's got some... Oh, we got this. Well then, what do you suggest? Because I asked for suggestions before, back when I created it, and no one gave me any suggestions, so I decided to come up with my own. 287, 277, not bad. Might be able to use that. <clears throat> this is crazy, because Barrier is now universal. I gotta check this out. So if you look at Cloyster, Barrier is universal effects for buddies. Oh my gosh. That's what I'm talking about, fam. Alright, these are useless. So 
So I got a new whack whack stone. Who has the whack whack stone? Okay. Move repetitions plus one. Move wait time plus 50. Move wait time minus. Okay, so we're going to be doing something interesting here. Oh, you can't. Can't stack on the same move? Really? Oh, yeah, you can. And then... So if that's the case, I want to stack... So number of move repetitions, but move wait time. So it's going to attack three times with Dazzling Gleam. That's just what I want. Effect duration, attack width. That's pretty decent. Number of shots, but the attack percent is lower. I don't like scatter shot. Wait time on that just for now. Yeah, barrier is a lot better than withdraw. All right, cool. Because barrier can take uh, with this with, with the situation I'm currently at. I'm gonna keep barrier. This is good. All right, expedition eight level four eighty four hundred. Getting closer to where I'm currently located at 9321. Still going to keep this on auto though. Ah, so that makes sense. I never read the damn tutorials or the, the key tips. Alright, so I need to get rid of Withdraw because whenever Koiso uses Barrier because of the, the gems that I have on it, it's universal to my whole team. Which makes me have to play this. <laughs> I'm going to switch. I'm going to play this. Watch. Barrier. The whole team gets it. Alright, back to auto you go. I'm confused on what level this is going to be. Because we've already had the Arbok level. No, Barrier was... What? Who? How? What disabled... Why would Arbok or Ekans know Disable? And now, oh, I got poison effects now too. This is not good. Lucky like Tongue is the boss? Oh, this was a quick one. Alright, Barrier. Go ahead, Auto. We should be fine. I just wanted to make sure Barrier was uh, universally applied. It helps so much. If I can get two of those stones, oof, increase. Alright, so 2v1, yeah, Flareon's already done. 2v1. Wow, that's some nasty damage, but okay. I see how it is, Lucky Tongue. I still think my team's good enough. They don't. Sh they, the PC does not strategize, though. Yeah, you did not barrier, bro. However, close quarter fire blast. You were smart to think there. You also got the burn off. Oh my gosh, we're doing some damage. Oh, it's hurting. It's even eating the flamethrower right now. This Lucky Tongue's not having a good day. Cloyster took zero damage this whole time. Zero damage. Look at this. Look at this beast. I can't lose right now. Alright, so Cloyster level up. Flareon level up. Alakazam will level up. Good. Alright, we got a new Pokemon. Let's go see what it is. Uh, Mulligan Stuella Cube XL. That's not good. What the hell was that? Oh, that's terrible, bro. That is so bad. That's so bad. 
That is so not what we needed. You can throw that in there. No, wait. There we go. I don't know what this is, but it's gonna cook something. Ooh, that's a six. Oh, this must be great. I will be able to get it completed today, which is nice. Alright, uh, what is the percentage on training with you? Twenty-one percent. I shall wait, sadly. Alright, Expedition 8, level 5. We now are here with a higher difficulty than my current team. I'm at 9325. Requirements for this, or recommendations for this level, is 10,500. Let's go ahead and see what we can do. Again, I'm kind of struggling with uh, move learning on Cloister. It still knows barrier, so bear with me. But, well, I'm keeping barrier. Um, I need to get rid of withdraw. That's what it is. One, two, three. Oh, that, that, that's just so good. The, the gem set that I have on Alakazam's Dazzling Gleam is so good. This is working good now. I'm liking this. Liking this game. Push him back into the burn, baby. Oh, not all of them took it, though. Why are you confused? Why are you confused? How'd you miss? You you missed again, Alakazam. Here we go. Uh-oh, I didn't bury her. Actually, that's weird. Nothing went out. Gotta get these knockbacks off. I don't know how I accomplished this before, because my team's already dead. Oh, and he's confused. Oh, no wonder why he can't do anything. Oh, you attacked yourself, really, bro? Alright, there we go. That's what I wanted to see. Still got another wave to clear, though. Close quarter combat, please. Nope, this is going into the open territory of the map. We got some AoE abilities going on, though. You, you're just missing around all day. You're just missing, bro. Wow. A little punch from the Jigglypuff. Well, at least we tag team in on this one. Okay, so we got the boss now. I'm actually going to keep having him run away. Oh no, Florian, you're the worst. You're, you're not what I want. You're not what I want to go into this combat right now. Go away. Someone else get in front of... Damn it. Alright. Get, get some knockbacks, bro. Get, just get some knockbacks for me. One more. The knockbacks are real. They're, they're what you need. Without the knockbacks from Alakazam, this is not good. <laughs> Having one move though with cloisters actually, you can get the burn off for once in your life. Alright, we need more knockbacks because Flareon's not having a good day. I 
can't attack. Yeah, you did. <laughs> um, this is good because uh, I can use Psycho Cut now. Because Cloyster's... Nope, never mind. <laughs> Cloyster decided not to tank. Let's run away. It also gives my other team a, an opportunity to actually uh, resurrect and come back. I think we got this, though. Oh, wh why are we in a corner? Ooh, the fire blast of dreams. That's what you wanted to see. Oh, it's over. We got the burn off, too. Wow, that wasn't bad. Wasn't bad at all. We were able to accomplish that. Look at, look at, look at, oh, we got so many items from this. 33 again. 30 plus food regions is definitely what we need. 52 Alakazam. This is going great now. 339. Okay, let's check out the gems real quick. No. Stop asking me all the time. I already know about it. <laughs> okay, so we got some new gems. Let's see if we can uh, use them. 348. Alright, for sure. 335s. 335s. That's it. Yep. Alakazam, let's move on to you. Alakazam on a three, both of them. Now we move on to Flareon. Got a three ten and a three eleven. And we re shall recycle and clear. We're now at, oh, we're still 93 93. Ooh, 93 93. Good luck going on into this next one. I feel like I need to take take the chance because I'm only one out of six. I need to take the chance on this sand shoe. Alright, so moving on to the boss. We need to uh, replace this with the purification statue. I forgot about that. I now need to. I get five, right? If so, I can use it. Yeah, I get five. Let's use that. Challenge, fairy type, we see. Got three more to do. Working on one right now. So we now have a full charge of. Sorry, I didn't mean to click quest. We now have a full charge of the battery. It was going to take 20-something minutes. We were definitely going to accomplish one beat within the 20 minutes, so we're good. Alright, so I'm going to have to try to train. It's not a huge percent chance, but I have to try to train, train uh, Cloyster's withdraw. 21%, yeah, it's a 1 in 5 chance. I'm banking on getting a water type or a shelter. Oh, I learned something. Icy wind. Oh. Hell yeah. That's better than... Yeah. Yay. Well, I mean, it's not icy. It's not ice beam, but it's good enough. <sighs> I'm happy. I took the chance and it worked. We can get a freeze, I think, which is get some decent CC if it actually pulls off. Imagine we CC both bosses. Ooh. I don't know if it's the Nitto King and Nitto Queen, but I'm very positive it is. Okay, so what is this? Was it $19.99 or $29? Oh, it's $29.99. Lower the price on that and I'll get it. Because I can get it for free. 
Well then, let's go. We're spamming the rest of our batteries on Expedition 8. Alright, Expedition 8, boss. We're at 9393. Boss requirements are 12,900. If it is Nitto King and Nitto Queen, which I'm pretty sure it is, we've got a chance, but it's not really great. And this is definitely more difficult than Expedition 7. Let's do this. Oh, we also, for those of you tuning into the Expedition, we uh, were able to relearn a move from uh, no longer having Withdraw. We now have Icy Wind. Oh, Icy Wind's gonna be beast. It's an attack that does damage unlike Icicle Crash, even though Icicle Crash does a lot of damage if it hits. When, when you need AoE, you go for Dazzling Gleam, because Dazzling Gleam is just OP. Look, 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 look at this dude. Yeah, this is definitely the Nitto King. Oh my gosh. That, that throw of the freaking flame. The fire blast. Shit. That was terrible. Go for it, Alakazam. Go for it, my bro. Alright, so yeah. What I was saying was um, this is definitely Nitto King and Nitto Queen. I remember it. For, I mean, look at what we're fight, facing off against. What is up with the aim, bro? You're making me waste Alakazam's abilities right here, bro. Alakazam's doing some beast moves. You know what? Just... Aw, oh, you fucker. Dude, Alakazam, Dazzling Gleam, people said Psychic was the way to go. This is... Helping so much, because it pushes your enemies away. Oh, that was perfect. Oh, you got knocked. There's nothing you can do about that. That's it. That's all you did. Alakazam, you can do more than that. Come on. All right. Well, so we're getting through, but it's not. Again, it's just, we're just getting through. It's not like we're amazingly getting through right now. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Why do you guys deal so much damage? And they decrease the shield. We gotta keep using Dazzling Gleam. If you can freeze, that would be great. We're, 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 we're struggling, guys. We're struggling. Why? Hit. Thank you. Oh, come back. Mm, why why is why is she moving? There we go, that's a little bit better like his M. Wow, these uh these neat arenas have some freaking beast defense capabilities. Alright, run away guys. Cause I'm not I'm not enjoying this right now. Yep, here it is. Oh and they're in the worst part of the expedition to be in. The spawn, why? Alright, let's see if we can pop out a, uh... Nope, this is bad. I'm trying to kill one first, but one, one of my Pokemon's already dead. Go for the Nidoqueen Queen first, please. Why'd you run into that cloister? What are you what are you doing, bro? My guys don't even know who they want to attack. This is what's stupid. Like if we can get a freeze off, you don't know how great this would be. Ow. Ow. Run. 
You have no reason to be fighting. Zero reason. Oh, you have zero reason to go there, bro. This, you're just, you're just, you're just harming yourself so much right now. Get an icy wind off. Did we freeze? Nope. They're both dead. Like, can you just, you two fat sows, just allow me to run? Get a freeze out. Get a double freeze. You know how OP that would be? Like, you're running into corners. I hate this game because it does this all the time. Like, look at that. It just runs into corners. Alright. This could be doable. I can't bury her because you guys are just gonna die. And it's not allowing me to bury her either. Well, Flareon didn't have a good time. Well, you're done, Alexam. <laughs> oh, wait, no. Nidal Queen's gonna attack who we need it to. Alakazam run. No, not that way! You dumb fuck. Oh, you just love corners, bro. I tried to bury you, but you just didn't accept it. I pushed you in. I'm sorry, Koisu. I pushed it in. <laughs> just freeze something for once in your life. At least you got a knockback out of that. But still, you need to... Oh, no. We have no barrier up. Trying to get Flareon to uh, not die, but it keeps dying. Oh, the wise! Well, I mean, we were close, but I don't, I don't know about this. I don't know. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going for it, but. I don't know, it's not easy. I really want to complete Expedition 8. If we can complete two new expeditions in one day, imagine. We just gotta get through the, the first parts a little bit better. Alright, so that was decent. <clears throat> I mean, they're taking a lot of damage from that, which is good. Finish this off for me, Alakazam. I don't need Flareon taking any more damage. Taking too much as is. Get the knockback. Yeah, we needed it. Alright, come in with the Dazzling Gleam again, my bro. Because you do too much damage with it. Look at... Ooh, Alec is... I mean, you're just so good, bro. If we can get lucky and focus on one Pokemon the whole time, out of the Nidal... If we can focus on the Nidal Queen, I think we'll be fine. I don't know how they just bypassed my boy, but okay. I gotta be more wary on my cooldown on 
barrier. I keep using it when I don't need to. Psycho Cut really doesn't do that much damage. Not gonna lie. <clears throat> I think this is the two neat arenas. They were very actually powerful. I'm running away to try to stall for some time. And also trying to get Flareon out of the front. I have to go because Alakazam's way too far. Oh wow, what just happened? Everybody just got... Oh, that's not cool. Wow, that was stupid. You have to Dazzle and Gleam now. So I'd rather face against off the mid arenas than these two. Oh wow, this is and it, it deals so much damage. My is already dead. I need my Cloyster to die in this fight now. So I can have a, an a opportunity for it to resurrect with higher health. Yeah, this is OP. I just keep dealing damage to myself. Look at that. <laughs> that sucks. Wow, I couldn't even get to the final boss on that one. That is crazy. I'm, I'm, I'm shocked right now. I'm thinking. And it's like, why didn't... What the hell happened there? Alright, I'm gonna let um, Flareon auto-attack. It just seems to be better. Against these these types of enemies. It's a little bit quicker and a little bit better. Okay, there we go. That's the Psycho Cut I know. 8k damage. I knew I shouldn't have used it. Ah, the psycho cut doesn't work. Huh, full health going in out of the first phase. That's good to know. Let's stall this uh, debuff off really quick. Replace our barrier and let's go. Yeah, auto attack is 10 times better than hoping to get a fire blast or a flamethrower off. Here I need a dazzling gleam though. Because it's an AoE ability that does too much damage to pass up. Wow, you guys didn't need to do that much damage. Relax. Ooh, Psycho Cut doing bits. Run away. I'm facing off against these two cucks again. Did I get a burn off?
Why doesn't why doesn't anyone have barrier? What the hell is going on? Oh, cause he's fuck this. I hate these guys, dude. I can face off against the Nidorinos, not the Nidorinos. What sucks is you can't auto leave once you see the Nidorinos. Yeah, you know I'm not even gonna barrier. It's it's not good. I can't. Kill me. I'm not even attacking anymore. Actually, I'll icy wind while my guy's confused. I'll, I'll attack while I'm confused. So they deal damage to themselves and kill themselves. There we go. We gotta redo it. Sad to say, but it's the only way. I can only face off against the, uh, the Nidorinos. These two Nidorinos are just OP. They're, hard, they're more difficult than the damn Nido King and Nido Queen. They do so much more damage. Alright, we got a quest completion now. Not what I needed, but I'll take it. Here we go. Kind of confused there, but all right. Psycho cut not doing. There we go. I think I understand how psycho cut works now. <laughs> oh, it works so well. Alright, get some off healing, please, because we didn't come out of there free of uh, damage. I believe it's going to be Nidoran's again. One more. Boom. Now we got to finish up this guy. When you need the barrier. They're in line, so I kind of have to. And then come in with this. <laughs> Just for the overkill. Alright, we've taken some damage. It's not what I want to see. Oh, cool. Nidorinos. I still can't even face off against these guys. Like, what the hell? Seriously, why are these guys so difficult? God damn, the only Pokemon that can kill things is dead. Why is this now difficult all of a sudden? What did I change? For some reason, I can't do this anymore. Alright, your boy's coming back, but... He's dead again. Why? This is stupid. This is stupid. Oh, they even lowered my defense. That's why.
So we're gonna go into this fight with like no health. Not even a tank. Oh, this is bad. <clears throat> Can't even stall for time. Clay Star, come on. They're already dead. Why did not come back with great health? Oh, you ran into that, bro. You deserve to die. And the L. There's got to be a way. I'm confused on why it's getting more difficult for me. Because I remember this a long time ago. I actually had this close. I only have two more attempts. Might as well go for it. So we're going to let Flareon auto attack. And it kind of worked. Now we come in with the Dazzling Gleam. Because there's multiple targets. And we apply barrier. <clears throat> so far, okay. These targets need to get dazzling gleamed, but sadly, my team does not want to do that. Thanks for the help. Okay, so Alakazam's doing okay. Flareon's the one that's kind of struggling right now. Shot that guy into the nether, boys. I just felt that was a great spot to flamethrower. <laughs> that's the only reason why I used it. Otherwise, I would let it auto-attack. Like, that's a great, uh, was a great spot. How do you, what, Alex, thank you. Like, what are you doing, bro? Fam, you're taking too much damage. Like, it doesn't matter what we face off against now, because I've struggled the last three times. Yeah. What's bad is I've got poisoned. Oh my gosh, the freaking confusions. Confusion and poison, how do you guys do that? Like, how do you pull that off, fam? Oh my gosh. I think it's a 100% chance I'm getting confused. Like, watch, I'm going to try to barrier. I can't. I'm going to try to dazzle and gleam. It just, it's it, it's a 100% chance to attack yourself, isn't it? Yeah, it is. That's so stupid, and it, that's why it's Supersonic's OP. If you get it, you, you, you CC the opponent. I'm not even going to bury you because I want to die. That's so dumb in this game, because like in real Pokemon, Supersonic's stupid. Like, getting confused is dumb. You can get lucky and get out of it. 
In this game, it's an automatic CC and it deals damage to you. This Pokemon should be OP. I'm not gonna lie. Give me like Dragonite or something. Very good XL size Mulligan Stuart IQ. So this must be like some super duper Pokemon. It's a slow poke again. What, like level 80? Level 32. The f is that? Not very good. What do you mean, very good? This is some BS that is going on today. Water type buddies. Psh. So, cooking, back to you. In the studio. Auto set? No. Throw that out there. To five. See how this training's gonna go? Huh. Alright. Fan. Let's check this out. Google. Cloister move sets. I gotta I gotta dig deep here. So barrier's great. That's what Cloister knows. Ice beam would be nice. Withdraw I don't need. Supersonic would be lit. Icy wind is what I have. Rock blast is actually okay. I'm gonna go for it again. Cause Icy wind's not doing it. I need supersonic boys. So an upgrade to Icy wind would be supersonic, rock blast, spikes, or ice beam. I do not want, I can't get barrier. I do not want withdraw. I do not want, I can't get icy wind because that's what I have. So I don't want icicle crash. I take anything but icicle crash. Actually, just give me something because it's only 48%. Supersonic though. What is that? Fuck off. The one move you don't want. The one move. When you get that one move though, and you don't want it, hella AIDS, boys. Hella. Well then. I think we got one more, two more attempts left. Two more. Sweet. Got two more. Let's see if we can do it. Huh. Let's see. Is that eight minutes or oh, no, it's eight hours? Oh yeah, I forgot, I can't use it. I don't have room. I'm, I'm debating on what... I'm trying to think of a strategy while I waste my time here. So bear with me, guys. I'm trying to come up with some way or method or form of method to defeat this boss. I understand, of course, getting better gems and stuff. And leveling up my Pokemon would definitely help. But I've, I kind of did that for a few months. It didn't help yet. I mean, Supersonic would be really good though. If I can get that. Because Cloyster does not have any attack. It, it's really useless on attack. Supersonic is not an attack. It's a CC. But, let's give it a chance.
running out of battery. It's been a long live stream. For, it's been a long episode. Let's put it that way. Won't be able to do, uh, whatchamacallit. Not going to be able to do, uh, Magikarp Jump tonight. <laughs> He actually did damage. Holy shit. Icicle crash doing damage. That's when that's when you're seeing new things happen. Alright, so we fully healed. Now we gotta deal with these two. Come, come fight. Yeah, I knew you wanted the flames. Alright, so, uh, kind of run away, because gotta get these dots off, or these debuffs off. And it also gets some minor heals out of combat. Ooh, you moved him out at the last second, but it's okay. I love using Psycho Cut to get back into combat. <laughs> it works so well. Right there, boom. Look at that. When you, when you Pokemon deal damage. I think I fixed Icicle Crash. Icicle Crash might be the way to go now. I'm liking it. Um, what's going on? Oh, they're paralyzed. These guys again. I don't understand these guys. Ice Skull Crash is working though now, which is kind of crazy. I need to get a barrier on you, Alakazam, so hold up. Oh damn it, I don't think I can. Oh, I got it. I have to, this is, this is dumb. I don't know what you're doing though, Alakazam, you're not attacking what I needed you to attack. Nope, not going in yet. Alec Kazam, I really don't want you to go in yet. No, Flareon, you're dead. If I can get through that last phase before these guys, without the, the problems, I can kill these two. That's the issue. Keep facing these two guys and I have, a, I have problems with it. Run away.
I need you to just live. Run away. Oh. That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. I needed... You know what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. I forgot I needed the barrier. Double frozen? Nope. You missed. You're gonna sit in there and take it. <laughs> uh, it's no chance, guys. I think we finally hit the wall. We got one more attempt, though. <clears throat> Last go. All right, let's see what we do. Ice go crash, no longer having some good aim. It used to be able to aim with ice go crash, but it's not anymore. Get in there. Right there. No, why'd you wait? Alright, so, first phase, good. We only have a little bit of damage on Flareon. Okay, you're not doing so well. You're gonna have to die some green here. Yeah, Alakazam took some barrier damage, which sucks. Oh, wow. That was bad. There we go. It should be dead. Come on, guys. I think it's because I pre use the moves when I go into battle. I think that's why they don't work. I'm trying to bury her so hard right now. And he can't get it off because he's confused. Oh, look at the damage he just took. Got it off, though. Why can't we bury her? What is going on? Spam clicking this. And now he waits until he's confused, uh, paralyzed or confused. It's confusion. God damn. That's the phase. If I just get through that phase, I'm able to do this. But sadly, it's just not working. If you froze that, you know how great and clutch that would have been.
Like, why can't you freeze him? Just explain that to me. And we'd be best buddies. No! It doesn't matter. I can't see anyways. Oh, he's dead. That's just what we needed. <laughs> oh, what do you guys think, man? I know I can do this. It's just that one phase before we get to the boss fight is what's killing me. The bosses aren't even a problem anymore. I can defeat these guys. It's just when I go into it, it's just not a good situation. Expedition 8. It's, that's where it's at. But since I don't have any battery left, I won't be able to, uh, both in-game and on my phone, I won't be able to play Magikarp Jump tonight, but I will play hopefully tomorrow. We will be back more Pokemon Quest tomorrow. Basically waiting until Tuesday, and then we're going to start a new schedule on Tuesday. So peace out, have a wonderful day.